Hi, this is Tom with Rebuild It Services Group. Today I want to do a quick instructional video on how to test your IMCO drive control, which is located on your IMCO drive head on your clarifier or thickener mechanism. The drive control is kind of the heart or the brain of your clarifier The is there to prevent you from having costly damages due to a torque overload device. This vintage here was introduced around 1985. There is an older vintage that is pre that date. Um, in any case, these drive controls, we recommend about every 10 to 15 years, they'd be replaced just to ensure that you don't have any costly damage. Give us a call on the number below or visit our website and uh, we can set you up on that. The key, or for me, the easiest part of adjusting our the IMCO drive control is this little key that we offer for free. Give us a holler, we'll give it to you. It inserts into the cam that you'll see shortly. The first step is to go ahead and remove the nose cone. It is a fine thread, it takes a little bit to remove it. Once you open it, you'll see that there are four limit switches located in there, switches one through four, number one being the front one. Number one is your cutout, two is your alarm. Three and four are spare switches, or if you have a lifting device on your unit, they are used for lift, raise, and lower. Some customers actually use them as backups to switch one and two, totally your preference. Always check your O&M manual for what your switch settings should be. Typically, 40% is your alarm, somewhere between 60 and 80 is your motor cutout. Again, check your O&M manual. To check your switches, insert the key. If you don't have a key, Go ahead and use a pair of channel locks or vice grips. Grab a hold of the collar, it'll do the same thing. Rotate to the right at, again, somewhere around 40%. You should hear switch to click. If you have an alarm panel on the bridge, you should hear the alarm or your DCS system should indicate an alarm situation. Continue rotating, again, somewhere between 60 and 80%. You should hear switch one. The motor should, should shut down on the clarifier, then you know that your, your torque control device, your drive control is working correctly. Go ahead and release. The indicator should come back down to zero or whatever torque the mechanism was at when it torqued out. At that point in time, you can put the nose cone back on and restart your mechanism. When you put your nose cone on, thread it all the way down the O-ring, hand tight, it's all you need. The key is though, and I need to stress this, is that the motor does not auto restart when you come off an overload situation. You want your, to go out to the clarifier bridge, see what has caused the overload situation. If for some reason the switches didn't work at all during this test procedure, give one of our engineers a call. We'll, glad you, we'll gladly walk you through the troubleshooting of the drive control. If you need a new drive control, give us a call again or visit our website. We'll gladly set you up with the correct drive control and actuating pin for your clarifier mechanism. Hopefully this uh, gave you a quick rundown on how to test your drive control, it was informative. I thank you for your time. Let's rebuild it together.